I've never wavered, Colin. I, I've said it, Broussard. I've said it on your podcast multiple times. I still believe, yes, LeBron is coming here. Let, let me just quickly interject about Lonzo. So he started shooting awful. Whitlock sat here, called him a bust. He's shooting 33% from deep. You know Donovan Mitchell is shooting 34%? And as you said, Ben Simmons hasn't hit 1-3 all season. So, I mean, this is – Lonzo's playing phenomenal. And, and, Chris, before we get to you, let me – Colin, when you look at that Cavs roster outside of LeBron and, and Kevin Love, and then you look at the Lakers roster, Ingram, Lonzo, Kuzma, that's better than anything the Cavs have outside of LeBron and Kevin Love. The Lakers uh, unit that they have – is better, I believe, than the Cavs when you're looking Let's go to the wrong. psychology. Let's say, let's say all of us here were married to somebody with a big temper and we got divorced. We probably would marry somebody that was kind of the opposite without a big temper. That's very human. The pendulum swings in life. So LeBron's last group of old players, Rose, D. Wade, was a disaster. So LeBron's thinking, okay, I'm getting older. I'm okay with young guys now. This is not LeBron in Miami six years ago. LeBron's last relationship with older players was the worst three months of his life. So LeBron's looking at the Sixers, and he's looking at the Lakers. But here's the thing. The Lakers actually have a point guard, Lonzo, who's not ball-centric, and two wings, Kuzma and Ingram, who love to shoot threes. This works for LeBron. Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, Simmons is to some degree a baby LeBron without the shooting touch, which LeBron developed. Yeah, right. I think he looks at L.A. and goes, I got two homes. All my business partners are there. Lonzo's legit. Ingram Kuzma are legitimate 6'9", three shooters. Me, Paul George, by the way, OKC, shaky and scrapping. I think it's getting more attractive in L.A. by the Lonzo performance. Well, first of all, let me address the phrase reviving speculation among these two. <laughs> that's, right. that's the speculation. All right. Look, I, there's no doubt if Paul George and LeBron go to the Lakers, they're a really good team. I mean, if those two go anywhere, they're a really good team. Problem. And you you got you Ingram, Lonzo, no question, Kuzma, you'd have good role players around them. The problem is you're in the West. And that would be a really good team, but would you put them over Golden State no. or Houston? Close. If if Kawhi and the Spurs work everything out, are they better than them? I mean, the West is so stacked. I'm just thinking, why not stay in the East? Unless he's just tired of making finals. Why not stay in the East? I like Philly. I agree Simmons and LeBron have some similarities. But Simmons also can play off the ball. You see him sometimes go post up and they'll get somebody else to ball, TJ McConnell or whoever. LeBron, I think, if he went to Philly, would play more off the ball and let Simmons handle it. They just have to get some 3 and D guys. You already got Robert Covington. You got Sarge. Maybe they could bring back J.J. Reddick. How many homes does he have in Philly? I'm Zero. Here, right? You I'm, don't I, need I, one. I, I'm just saying <laughs> basketball-wise, if I'm LeBron, I'm looking at Philly, and I'm saying I could maybe win championships with these guys as the best player, and then as I decline and they really rise – they could help carry me to another championship or two. I, That's something to look at. I say Philly make a lot of sense. You know, to echo what Chris been saying, is that you have the young nucleus. Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, you have shooters in Covington. You got Marco there now. J.J. Redick may take less. You know, like, LeBron is an attraction of his own. If he goes somewhere... Anybody that got limbs that's able to be a little mobile on the perimeter that can knock a shot down, I'm going to join that action. Shoot, I might come out of retirement. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's that's an opportunity to have a, a free lane, an open pathway in the Eastern Conference. It then becomes the LeBron James Invitational again, as it always has been. And then, you know, all you have to do is get, compare for the whoever coming out the Western Conference, which is probably the Golden State you Warriors told, or the Houston Rockets. But you told me before, he didn't want to go to the finals and lose. If he loses in the Western Conference finals, it doesn't ding his legacy, like losing as a sixer yeah. to the Warriors. You want to be the guy who loses the finals? No, I think he, that, that, that's a, a legitimate question. What, what does LeBron think? Does he think it would be better not to make any more finals and not lose anymore? Or get there. I mean, that's something to be said for that, too. What if he goes to nine straight finals, even if he loses them? I mean, we see the Warriors with the, the mental exhaustion of trying to get back to the fourth straight finals. This is one individual going to seven straight. I mean, there is something to be said for that, even if you lose. But what is the argument if he go to the finals 
Whereas if he stays somewhere and don't even make the finals, then what? You're saying he's de declining. First of all, before yeah, I move, that's right. Yeah, like, it, I, I'd rather get, get there. If they get eliminated in the second round, it's like, oh, yeah, that's he's, the conversation. He's not the best player yeah, in the world. But if LeBron and Paul George are getting bounced in the second round. You oh, think, in the West? In the West? They could. Oh, oh, let's stop slow it. down. What, Portland's going to be better than LeBron and Paul George? In the West, Chris. anything could happen. That's I'm all I'm saying. Oh. It's a toss-up. You know what I did before I moved to L.A.? I visited it all the time. Where's LeBron spend his summers? Do not Everywhere. all the players stay in L.A.? <laughs> everywhere. He's in Philly in the summer? Right. He's, he's, a walking, he's a walking billionaire. He's everywhere. He, 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 he can go where. Yeah. Yeah. Karan, how many players stay everybody. in L.A. in the summer? Right? Come on. Not how many everybody. Of everybody. Worth $44 million, Chris. <laughs> they own. Huh? Speculate. That's what the I reviving <laughs> the speculation. <laughs> now heard you concerned about your Cavaliers making it out of the they East. They are my Cavaliers, Stan Gilbert and me. Um, <laughs> no, I, the regular season means different things to different people. Toronto wants to host a Game 7. Houston doesn't want to go to Golden State if they play. LeBron, I'm going to experiment a little bit. I got Larry Nance Jr., interesting piece. Kevin Love's not back yet. I want to see what Jordan Clarkson can do. Listen, here's the good news. All these new guys at the trading deadline, they're five and four. LeBron is engaged. He's had some, last night, incredible nights. Kevin Love's coming back, who will be a clear two. Take a deep breath. Okay, this is Toronto is trying to say we're number one because they've been disappointing. Houston is trying to say, no, no, we're going to get Golden State on our court. It doesn't matter. I think LeBron does experiment. I think he does tweak, and I think he sees the regular season as opportunities not going to show all his hands. Not going to show all his cards. I, I think they're fine in the East. In the East, fine. Okay. We're talking about LeBron, the guy who's <clears throat> tied for second in minutes played. Guy who hasn't missed a game yet this season. You know, LeBron's used to resting. And uh, we know the East is a lot better than it has been the last few years, Colin. Really? I mean, we're looking at the 76ers in the first round, possibly Celtics, then Raptors. Okay, the East is much improved. Moussard, we'll get to you in a second. But I want, uh, Colin, I still have to hammer you on this. This is a Cleveland team, as you said, no Kevin Love. Well, now we see Larry Nance playing great in the starting lineup. What's going to happen when Love comes back and Tristan Thompson's back? And they're both told, hey, hey we're going to work some things out. We don't know what we're going to do. And you've got the end of the season and the playoffs beginning. I just know, it just feels to me like there's too much going on. I don't trust Ty Lue in the fourth quarter. I have some concerns about the Cavs getting out of the East. Look, there's a lot going on with Cleveland. They're going to be in adjustment mode the whole season. Because yeah. <laughs> even if in the next four games everything went great, oh, we've got our rotation, Kevin Love is coming back. And I think it's simple. I think you put Love at center, Nance at the four, and I bring Tristan off the bench. I'm sorry. I need that energy. And, and Nance can score where Tristan really doesn't at this point. It's as simple as this. LeBron is by far the best player in the East. Kyrie is one of the close ones to him. Who's got the better supporting cast between Kyrie and LeBron? LeBron. I think LeBron and the Cavs with Kevin Love and those young athletes. So I think they clearly win the East. Obviously, the question is, can they do anything with anybody in the West? And probably not. I think it's still going to be challenging for them, you know, them being the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference because I feel like chemistry is everything. And you got the new guys and Jordan Clarkson and Nance and those guys, and then now you're going to have to reinsert you know, Tristan Thompson into a role that, you know, hey, man, like, you got to come off the bench possibly now just because Larry Nance is really showing some flashes of some things that's much needed. The energy, the shot blocking, you know, just bringing that it factor to that lineup. And then now, inserting Kevin Love back in it, I feel like it's a whole nother, you know, bag of tricks that, you know, Ty Lue can play with. So they, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with, but I think it's going to be a challenging Eastern Conference Run you have for them. them winning it. I do have them winning well, it because yeah. LeBron's that good. Yeah. Like, Let me he ask really you is. This, though. Okay, they, they haven't really faced adversity with this new group. I don't care about a loss to the Sixers. What's going to happen when the series is tied 2 2 with, say, Toronto or Boston? And people are asking, Karan, man, what's LeBron going to do if they don't get out of the series? I just believe the LeBron free agency cloud still messes with the chemistry and, like you said, the locker room situation. Tristan Thompson got $84 million, and he's dating a Kardashian, and, and they're having a kid soon, and he's coming off the bench playing, what, 10 minutes a game? You don't think that's going to tinker with stuff? I, I feel like you're going to buy into your road. What they have now is guys that don't have larger-than-life egos. They have guys that bought into the role, into the system. Look, we understand that we're number two or three 
to the, you know, the best player on the planet in LeBron James. And they're okay with that. They're not trying to compete for free agency, contracts, anything like that. They're just playing the game, and they're falling into the leadership of LeBron James. I think you're overstating the East. If Kyrie doesn't shoot well, you're leaning on Jason Tatum, who's already hit a ceiling. The Wizards appear to be better without John Wall. Indiana's got good players, no great ones. Where did Milwaukee go? In <laughs> Toronto? <laughs> Hockey country? Don't trust them with hoops. They've let me down like three years in a row. <laughs> what, are you, what are you counting out the 76ers with one okay. of the best as players far in the East? Win in the, in the playoffs? As a challenger to the Cavs? Oh, God, okay. no. So what, if they take them six, if they take them six, I mean, you They're are kids. way over. Yeah, you're way I, over. I had to check and make sure you have a pulse. Sorry, or they yeah. went through the East last year 12 1. You think it'll be anything close to that? Yes, I do. If it's 10 4, who cares? I mean, they're going to win the East. And the Cavs, I think, to your point, they're going to come of age, so to speak, during the Eastern Conference playoffs. Yes. They're not going to be clicking on all cylinders when the playoffs start. But as they work through these series and love's back longer, the, the rotation is set, that's when they'll be Just playing Just ask better. her this. Ben Simmons has hit one three-pointer ever, college or pro. <laughs> Joel Embiid can't hit three-pointers. Four. In his whole life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're watching the NBA. I got Kyle Korver. I got Kevin Love. I got LeBron. I got... You think they're going to challenge them. I... Certain teams are built for the regular season. The Sixers are a fun story. They're kids that can't shoot. That is not going to work in the postseason. They are a great, fun, energetic regular season story. <laughs>